I'm Dr. Bob Bowman, Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force, retired. Flew 101 combat missions in Vietnam and directed all the DOD Star Wars programs under Presidents Ford and Carter. My PhD is in aeronautics and nuclear engineering from Caltech. and I did my postdoctoral work at the von Karman Institute in Brussels, Belgium in finite element analysis. I taught at five colleges and universities serving as department head and assistant dean. Finite element analysis is the solution of complex physical problems using advanced mathematics, things like turbulent flow or structural failure. I first became aware that there was a problem with the government's official conspiracy theory on 9-11. That very morning when I was watching what was happening on television and my wife says I kept saying over and over, where are the interceptors? And then, of course, when the first of the towers actually started falling down, I just said, this can't happen. It can't happen. And then the other tower came down, and I said, this violates the laws of physics. It can't happen. Those aircraft and those fires could not cause those buildings to come down in that way. So uh, I guess I was a very early skeptic. And then, of course, the coup de grace for me was when I found out that Building 7 had collapsed later that day. And when I saw Building 7 come down, uh, to me, Building 7, the fact that its collapse was announced prematurely by the BBC and CNN, and just seeing it come down in what for all the world looks like a, a perfect controlled demolition of an intact building. I mean, that's what I call a smoking gun. And you put all these things together and it is absolutely obvious to me that we've been lied to, that the government's official story is physically impossible, and that's why we absolutely need a new investigation of 9-11. You know, I signed that petition for architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth some time ago because as an engineer, and I have three degrees in engineering, uh, I know that the government story is an absolute lie. Totally convinced of it. Uh, there's a lot of people trying to convince me that uh, the government story is the truth and they don't come close. I fully agree with what you guys are saying and uh, the evidence that you have come up with over the last several years uh, about uh, the thermite and the, the speed of collapse and all the details uh, just uh, clinch it, should clinch it for just about anybody, certainly does for me. The architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth have collected evidence from a number of sources that uh, prove conclusively, as far as I'm concerned, that uh, there was controlled demolition on that morning uh, with those three buildings. Now, everybody is probably pretty familiar with that uh, evidence, the, uh, the free fall speed of the buildings, and in particular, the uh, thermite in the dust from all three of the buildings. Uh, there's no question but that uh, those things could not happen because of aircraft hitting a building and fires. We know we've been lied to about 9-11. Uh, we don't know for sure who did it. We don't know exactly how they did everything. And that's why we need a new investigation to find out. But in the meantime, there are things we do know. We do know that there was a massive cover-up, that there was evidence hidden and destroyed. The American people absolutely need the truth of 9-11.